love with Pat's two cents. Here to read from the book of Ephesians. It <laughs> want to roll tonight. Book of Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Verse 14, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Let's stop right there. Listen, when you have your loins girt about with truth, Pat's two cents, that means you are functioning in the realm of honesty. You are a person of integrity. You are living for the genuine, unadulterated, characteristic of God. Your love is as untainted as possible. You are doing everything you can from a pure heart. You don't lie at the drop of a hat. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I don't feel like coming. Why? Oh, I got a stomach ache. You got a stomach ache. Yeah, you sitting up here eating popcorn watching TV instead of just being honest and saying, this is not a good night for me. You don't have to give a reason. Just say, yeah, I'd just rather not say it. Just, just not a good night for me. I'd rather not go. It's your choice. And, you know, but we are so quick to lean on the lower, the beggarly elements of life to get us out of a jam. Somebody's going to pick you up for a date. All you have to do is call them up before they leave their house and waste their gas and say, ah, oh, can I, I, I get a rain check? This is not a good night. No problem. I'll holler at you later. I'm in the middle of something. Now, you don't have to be doing anything important. You might be in the middle of watching a movie. You might be in the middle of eating dinner. The bottom line is you're not lying. Now, if it gets to the point where you're not interested in the person, then you go out to dinner, you sit down, you say, listen, we're going Dutch. I don't want you treating me or... Uh, you know, or let's go, you know, I'm going to treat you, but, you know, I'll treat you, but I, you know, we need to talk. And then let them know, you know, we do really well as friends. Let's keep it that way. No hard feelings, nothing to be ashamed of. Let's just keep it like that. Because God is doing something in your life, God's doing something in my life, and let's concentrate on that right now. I just don't think this is time for relationships. Now, you haven't put them down. You haven't blamed them. You haven't criticized them. You just put it on God. And you're done. And you remain friends. You still can go out and, you know, catch up with your buddies and all of that. But there is nothing, there is no expectancy there. And you have not broken a heart. You nipped it in the bud before emotions got in the way. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the breastplate, um, let me see, what does that call it? Um, hang on, I want to find it. Oh, okay. That's your loins girt about with truth. Be truthful. Be real. Be genuine. All right, I'll be back with the next one.